Right now, I'm going to show you how to create an expense in foreign currency. First, you need to click on the plus sign and then click on the expense function. Once you get to the expense form, you need to select a payee. So the payee can either be a customer or a supplier, but it is crucial that you select the correct uh, payee on this section because this transaction will follow the currency of the customer or supplier that's selected on this drop-down list. But for this example, we are just going to select the customer in Euro. And as you select the payee, you will be able to see the foreign exchange rate auto-populating from this section as well. You can either use this particular foreign exchange rate, which is captured in Wall Street On Demand, or you can manually key in your foreign exchange rate. It depends on your um, requirements. So you just need to fill out the form. Enter the payment date and the payment method, whether you're paying this expense by cash or check. So right now we're just going to select cash. And then enter the item details, whatever um, product you're purchasing. Um, you just need to select it from here. If you don't have the product um, added yet, you can simply add it by clicking on add new option. But for now, we're just going to select whatever product we have in here. And then enter the amount in euro. You can also enter the quantity as well as the um, the rate. And after you fill out the information, just review whatever you have filled in. And if you're happy about it, just click on save. And that's it.